with sleeve gastrectomy. Surgery starts by placing several trocars strategically in the abdominal wall. Once placed, instruments and scope are passed in order to visualize and mobilize the intra-abdominal contents. The normal flow of food passes from esophagus to stomach to the small intestine where the food mixes with the stomach acids and digestive enzymes and absorption of nutrients takes place. Laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy, often called the sleeve, is performed by removing approximately 80% of the stomach. The remaining stomach is a tubular pouch that resembles a long sleeve or a banana. This procedure works by several mechanisms. First, the new stomach pouch holds a considerably smaller volume than the normal stomach and helps to significantly reduce the amount of food and thus calories that can be consumed. The greater impact, however, seems to be the effect that the surgery has on gut hormones that impact a number of factors including hunger, satiety, and blood sugar control. Short-term studies show that the sleeve is as effective as the ruin y gastric bypass in terms of weight loss and improvement or remission of diabetes. There is also evidence that suggests that the sleeve, similar to the gastric bypass, is effective in improving type 2 diabetes independent of weight loss. The complication rates of the sleeve fall between those of the adjustable gastric band and the Ruin Y gastric bypass. The advantages of the procedure include restricts the amount of food that the stomach can hold. It induces rapid and significant weight loss that comparative studies find similar to that of the Ruin Y gastric bypass. Weight loss more than 50% for three to five years or more of data and weight loss comparable to that of the bypass with maintenance of over 50% excess weight loss. It requires no foreign objects like the adjustable gastric band and no bypass or rerouting of the food stream like the gastric bypass. It involves a relatively short hospital stay of approximately two days. Causes favorable changes in gut hormones that suppress hunger, reduce appetite, and improve satiety. The disadvantages include it is non-reversible procedure, it has the potential for long-term vitamin deficiencies, and has a higher complication rate than the adjustable gastric band.